Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I'm just going to show you these gel polishes all swatched because these are the collection that we're going to be using today, uh, some of them anyway. And I just want to remind you if you've not seen my last video that um, you can get a massive 50% off during the whole month of August with this collection because I am representing this collection as the ambassador of the month so yeah a big thank you to Madam Glam for asking me to do that I'm really happy and so excited to be doing this um, so yeah I have done another video with swatches of the gel polish colours but this is just another design that I wanted to do with these colours so um, the first thing I'm doing in this video is I'm going in with the base coat because we're going to be using some of Madame Glam's gel pots. Uh, well, one of Madame Glam's gel pots. It is the, the pink builder gel in a pot. So that's this one. And I'm using the application brush. And I'm just going to put a small amount of the gel. I'm just going to brush it down onto the nail. And that is going to become my slip layer. And then I'm putting a bigger bead on the brush. And I'm going to feather it down over the entire nail if you did like this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and then if you hit the bell notification youtube will let you know whenever i upload a new video and then when i've done that i'm going to use my detailer brush just to make sure that it's all down the sides where i want it to go it can also help when you're doing this if you put your hand or your nail upside down and then that'll help the gel flow to where it needs to be and that helps it flow so that there's more gel towards the apex area. So I'm just going to do that on all of the nails and these gel pots need a 60 second cure so they will be popped in the lamp for 60 seconds. You can cure them individually, your nails, or you can do them you know you can do one hand at a time if you're new to doing it i would suggest curing after each nail and um, because sometimes we can um you can hold your hand at a funny angle without realizing that you're doing it and then when you cure the whole hand you've got more gel on one side of your nail than the other and then you end up with more filing than you need and um, the way that i did this because it's only sort of a thin coverage and it's not really that much gel um it didn't actually need filing at all so if you get your application right um, and you don't use too much gel, then, you know, it's possible to do that. You don't need to file it. It's so smooth, this gel. I love the consistency of it. And when it's cured, it is really smooth. It self levels really well. So when those are all cured, I'm just going to wipe the dispersion layer off with a wipe and some alcohol because I'm going to be painting some of the holographic gel polishes from this collection. Well, two of them, the purple one. Um, and the pink one. So the pink one's called Art Room and the purple one's called Science Lab. And we're going to do some drips. So when you're doing drips, you're better off starting with a dot at the bottom of the drip first and then painting upwards. And then if you just paint that gel polish in a straight line and get it as thick as you need it to be, and then the drip itself, you can start making it a little bit wider from the bottom. And your drips don't need to be uniform. In fact, it's better off if they're not. It looks more natural that way. But I've always wanted to do a set of holographic drip nails, but I've just never done it. And then when I saw these, I thought, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I wanted um, a light background. So that's why I used the Builder Gel. So I do flash cure in between, um, sorry, for each nail before I put them in the lamp just to make sure that... Um, the gel polish even though it's drips i don't want it actually to drip where i don't want it to and then when i've finished and i'm happy with that then i'll cure it for 60 seconds so at the top of the nail where the cuticle area is you want to put a bit of the gel there as well so that it really does look like the drips are dripping down from that that part of the nail So I'm doing that part first on the next nail and I'm using the pink one. So I did my lines down first on that one and then I did the dots and then I joined them up. And to be honest, one way wasn't easier than the other. They were like equal really. 
but I did spend quite a bit of time on them because um, I, I do tend to faff quite a lot um, and I can not get something right or I don't think it's right so I keep messing with it and then I usually mess it up when I do that because I mess with it too much so I told myself not to mess with it too much uh, but yeah I love the way they turned out I really like these they ju I just wanted to do something really fun and I think that's what these are definitely fun nails and they'd be good for Halloween as well um, if you used a red you know it'd like, be like blood dripping down and a lot of people do that but I've I've not done it myself yet <laughs> So I've done the other two off camera and then I'm going in with the top coat. So yeah, nice easy set this one. But it's just something really interesting and something really different as well. So I'm using my practice hand from Aliana Hand. Um, this is the half practice hand um, and it's the butterfly tattoo one. And the colour of it is winter. So this is like a lighter colour. It's, it's more sort of matched to my skin tone. So this is what they look like when they're all top coated and done. So I love this holographic glitter gel polish, it is gorgeous. And there are loads of autumn designs that you could do with this, but this is the one that I wanted to do. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Would you wear these or are they a bit, they a bit too, um, you know, out there? I just think they're really fun and they make me laugh. Um, I'd like to do some neon ones as well. I think that would be really good. Neon drips on, on a black background. That would look really good. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. So links to everything I use will be in the description box. As usual, don't forget to take advantage of that 50% discount code. It's for the entire month of August. And check out this gel polish collection because it is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.